Hey everybody, Brian here from Fitzpatrick's. So here is something interesting that I discovered recently. So we're talking about, and this will probably work on uh, Santa Fe and Tucson and probably other models as well. So this is a plug-in hybrid. And this car has a 13.8 kilowatt hour battery. If you're unfamiliar with these types of models, then basically this car will operate as a normal hybrid, which will use petrol and battery. But as a plug-in hybrid, it also allows you the opportunity to go into a full electric mode and in this case for probably about 40 or 50 kilometers. The point of this video then is how we go about charging and how we go about increasing the efficiency or uh, I suppose the speed of charging more to the point. So the car comes with a three pin socket. So that plugs in like it would into your house, uh, completely normal. And then that moves down to a box. We're gonna go back to the box in a minute. And what happens then is the other side literally plugs into the car. So plug straight into the vehicle. And then we know it's charging because this will light up along here. So here's the thing, right? At the moment, if we look along here, now let's just have a quick think about the mathematics. So down here, it actually tells you the car is charging at one kilowatt. So that's the rate of charge. It's telling us it's going to take us about eight hours uh, to charge up the remaining 50%. From the point of view of just a quick calculation, the battery is 13.8 kilowatts, uh, kilowatt hours even. So let's round it up to 14. Um, if the car is charging one kilowatt um, per hour, uh, then 14 divided by 1 is 14, which means it takes 14 hours. And of course that can vary uh, during the charge cycle, but that's just an estimate at the moment. And it's quite a long time, so there is a way to speed it up. Back to the box that we were talking about. So, on the box, it's telling us it's charging at 6 amps. So 6 amps is allowing us to put about 1 kilowatt every hour into the vehicle. So what I do is, see the little button along here? Hold that. Flashes. Press it again. Now we're up to eight amps. And then I'm gonna hold this down. And it's set at eight amps. So now looking at the binnacle again, we're now moved up to 1.4 kilowatts every hour is going into the car. And now it's telling us it's taken us about five and a half hours. Again, just thinking about the mathematics, that means if we are charging at 1.4 kilowatts, and we said the battery is a 13.8 kilowatt hour battery. Again, I'm rounding up to 14 just for the sake of quick calculations. So 14 divided by 1.4, that would mean that it would take 10 hours to put 1.4 kilowatts every hour into a 14 kilowatt hour battery. So that's a bit of an improvement, but we can actually move from eight amps up as far as 10 amps. So again, press the button, tap once, hold it a second time until it flashes. Press it once again, up to 10 amps, hold it, and then it sets. Back onto the binnacle again. So uh, now we're charging upwards of 1.7, maybe 1.8 kilowatts uh, per hour. And that's going to give us the remaining time of we're now down to four hours 20 to get the remaining 50%. And as you can see, it's kind of teetering between 1.8 and 1.9. So just rounding that off to maybe two kilowatts per hour. So now what you've done is you've moved to maybe closer to two kilowatts per hour. Again, 13.8 kilowatt hour battery. We'll just round it up to 14. 14 by, divided by two means you're looking at seven hours. So every hour it's putting in close to two kilowatts. So it'll take seven hours to complete a full charge of the battery. I think it's worth pointing out that the little charger is actually set from the factory at six amps. So some people may not know this. So hopefully it's useful. Anyway, hopefully the video has been useful. Brian here from Fitzpatrick's. Thanks a million for taking time to watch. Oh, and finally, actually, if there's anything I've forgotten or something else you want to find out, I will do my best. Just let me know in the comment section below.